It's your favorite cook on YouTube? Well, it's your favorite cook's favorite cook on YouTube. We have a special guest today, Eats by Jen. Hey guys. <laughs> Link in the description. We're going to different taco places in Dallas. These are some of the best taco places that, amongst the three of us, that we've had. And we're gonna tell you at the end of it which one is the best, but we also are going to tell you why you should come to each one of these places. What to order, what not to order, and one of the secret important aspects of judging a good taco place is we gotta tell you who has the best salsa. I think for me, so it has to have really good flavor obviously, but make sure that the salsa's bomb. The salsa's everything, that's the cherry on top of a taco, so we're hoping to get like the asada and maybe some some like staples taco staples so we can judge it the best way for you guys um but definitely we're gonna see what else we can order so you can take full advantage of your outing to these awesome taco places so the first place is called trompo we're gonna list all the places that we visited today and their addresses down below Texas in the Bishop Arts area. We've got our order. We have three campechanas, which is something you have to order when you come to Trompo. Listen to me, you have to get this item. So it's um, basically a quesadilla with uh, al pastor and bistec. And then we have our panela y poblano taco. That's a vegetarian taco. Don't knock it till you try it. The flavor is there. Um, we have our al pastor and bistec. And we're about to dig in. <music> That's awesome. That is really good. The meat's like really crispy, which but it's is so juicy. Like the outer part. Juicy. So the outer part of the meat, is, you can taste it on the bistec specifically. Very crispy. There's like a little crunch, but once you're chewing it, it's super juicy. And yeah. that's what you want. You like. You literally want it to be dripping. So it is dripping. It's like <laughs> dripping all, all down my hands. The cheese, obviously cheese. I mean, let's be real. Cheese is the best, but. Uh, the meat is crispy and juicy at the same time. Probably a result from this spinning trompo. They're just shaving it. They're shaving the crispy, done meat. Okay, so this too, the fact that like the tortilla is actually really soft, that's so important because it just, it folds. It, it's amazing. Because some pla like places will make it too crispy, too crunchy, and it takes away, I feel. The cheese is crusty too, mm -hmm. which I love actually. But now, moving on to the green. The bread is spicier, but this one's more citrusy. Green is for flavor, for sure. Mm -hmm. and that's a given. The green salsa is definitely more citrusy, mm -hmm. more flavorful. The red one seems to pack a little bit more of a punch. But that's why when you come, you have to do both. I mean, yeah, do what we did. Try a little bit of both by themselves, but together, like, magical. It's, this is giving you a variety of textures, flavors, the creaminess of the cheese, like the crunch of it too. You're getting two different salsas that are one spicy, one's flavorful and zesty. Like, yeah. this is fun to play around with. I would hit it with both. They're obviously known for their trombo. So I would say we start with the pasta one. Look at her, look, she's like shiny. Yeah, yeah. Look how, <laughs> look how unnaturally red that meat is. A little bit of green, a little bit of red. Look at, look at that. Look, damn. Now, Batty. Now, <laughs> now I'm sided. I thought it was good. Not porky at all, which is a good thing for me. But the campuchano was leaps and bounds better. 100%. Just had so much flavor and texture. But this isn't bad. So I guess we f***ed up a little bit. We had the campechana, which is like, that's the thing you have to order when you come here to have like an amazing experience and like fully take advantage of the flavors that Trompo has to offer. So that being said, it was good. It's really good. It's a staple, but if it was up to me, I'd probably just do like, my order would be two campechanas and like one taco, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. I mean, we'll see how the next two are, but I, I enjoyed this. Yeah. It, it was good. The campechana was just so much, so good. Mm -hmm. you know? So now we try you know, the your, steak. Your OG uh, carne de res. 
Provecho. What? It, what? <laughs> like cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. How do you say it? Provecho. Che provecho. Like, or buen provecho. That's Spanish. Yeah. That's German. That green salad says bussin. She's bu <laughs> She is! She's so gross. That's Sean's favorite word too. <laughs> <laughs> the mistake was classic, really good steak, like a good representation of what it should be. Tortilla is nice and soft, and the meat was tender. It wasn't chewy at all. Good flavor. It's standard. I mean, I'm not. I I, I still think the Campechano is like the the leader here by a long mile. But it says a lot about how good that Campechano is, because these two were also really good, but that just had texture, flavor, spice. All the things, man. It was bussing for real. Yeah. So the bistec one I love. And I think what helps a lot here is that the salsas are really, really good. Um, that green one just keeps like blowing me away with every, like, every bite. So I definitely love this. But again, please order the campechana when you come here. It's all like, I'm like, put it on a shirt. Like I'm an advocate. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree. So far, like it's still the number one. So the last one is actually a veggie taco. Again, don't knock it till you try, because I know there's people out there who are like, you ordered like a veggie taco at a taco spot? We sure did, because the flavor's here. And it's uh, panela y poblano, so that's paneer, cheese, and the poblano, sauteed. Um, I think there's actually like a little bit of corn and just like some other stuff going on in there, but it's, it's really, really, really good. There's a lot of flavor in there. <laughs> and we're about to try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and Get a little, get a little, dang. get a little saucy, get a little, little bit. Get a little, dang. Come on, get a little, dang. get, get off. <laughs> get a little, dang. okay. Isn't it good? Isn't it good? Bro. What did I say? There's sauteed onions, sauteed poblano, that's actually the, fire. the panela cheese. There's so much flavor. Because think of it like a guisado. That's what they're doing, and it's fing delicious. It's just... All the. She's juicy too. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple more spots we're going to, but he, he devoured his tacos. This is amazing. I don't know which one I, is number one between this and the Campechano, honestly. Yeah. No, okay. That's so how good this is. Those are two, these two are two staples that you should order at Trombo that you're not really, I mean, you can find a Campechana anywhere, but not a good Campechana. And this is actually really unique to Trompo, so I would 10 10 recommend you do that. Actually, when I come, I usually do like two Campechanas and the panela taco like that's my order when i come and for that's obvious for obvious reasons yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would i would wear the exact same stuff yeah As i would be happy with just these take it from foodies and if you're trying to make sure you have a great experience and save your coins on the other stuff stick to the campechanas and the panela taco chef's kiss i'm down with that i if you're a vegetarian you're not disappointed coming here and just having a bunch of these even if you're not a vegetarian eat this this is good <laughs> this is really damn good it's surprisingly good i mean it looks good but the it, i mean it's packed with flavor yeah. and you got a little cheese in there mm. and one of the baddest of the cheeses by the way panela she's a baddie the baddest of the cheeses <laughs> okay so trompo was amazing uh the next place is lci which is down the street not too far away there's a lot of competition right now already and don't move, don't move, don't move. There's a bee on you, and when, when you don't do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you stay, super yeah, you stay, you stay still. still. Okay, so in case I hate you didn't bees. know, I know, I hate bees. but you don't move. Oh. Why do I hate bees? I hate to sting. Well, then I gotta sting you if you don't move. Okay, yeah. Okay. Next place is LCI, and I've had it before, and it does give this place a run for its money. But uh, we're gonna have to see who, who's the ultimate champion here today. <laughs> but can't go wrong. So far, so good. All right, we're at LCI. We got lengua, which is tongue, which I am a personal fan of. We got al pastor, because we got al pastor at the last place. We got bistec, because we got bistec at the other place. And we got barbacoa, because I think that's gonna be the sleeper, the winner today here. Just like she thought the campechano was gonna be the winner there, and she was right about that. Let's see if I'm right about this one. Let's see if I'm right. Taqueria LCI greasy we're gonna show you in a minute but 
we have some al pastor. Looks a lot different than the other place. We got some lengua, lengua, okay, okay. We also have some barbacoa. Look how, look at that grease. Hold on, I, you, you gotta see this. Look at this, see that? Last but not least, a little beef steak for good measure. Cause we gotta, we gotta compare beef steak to beef steak. Comment below, what's your favorite? So this is the al pastor down the hatch with both sauces. The first thing I noticed, they did it right. The tortillas were done right. And by that I mean when you have like just the flat griddle, you need to spread oil all over the shit. Or the approach where you get your tortillas and you slap like with uh, oil and just kind of let it do its thing. But it's still soft. So look at this, like my hands are greasy. Which is great, like it brings so much flavor to it. I'm digging it. I like the salsa verde, I mean, the roja. It has chile guajillo in it and it's bomb. Yeah, I agree. The, the tortillas are noticeably greasier. I'm a fan of grease, so no, no complaints here. The salsa is noticeably spicier, but my immediate reaction from my first bite was I, I want more salt. I need more salt. So luckily they gave us little packets of salt here. Some salt if you'd like. Thank you. I need more salt. Um, that's the only downfall is just not enough. I thought it was marinated well though. Their pastor is marinated well. Flavor's fire though, yeah. yeah. All right, beef steak is next. All right, dressed, beef steak, cebolla, cilantro, salt, red sauce, green sauce. AKA todo con todo. <laughs> Yeah, everything with everything? Mm -hmm. Okay, everything with everything. Cheers. I like the bistec more from Trompo. I just feel like it's juicier. The, the actual chunks of meat are thicker versus here. It's a little more chopped, which is fine. But I am having fun with this taco experience. And by that, I mean like we're outside. I have to like, when, whenever you have to do this and then take a bite, you know, it's like the real deal, you know? That's when you know it's juicy. Absolutely, and it, it really, really, really is. <laughs> So far, I actually like the pastor here, and I like the bistec here. The bistec there is more tender, so the meat isn't as chewy. Actually, it wasn't chewy at all. It was really nice. You know what, and I can't really give this place the win, honestly, because I had to add salt, and I didn't have to add anything at the there last place. With salt, this is more flavorful, like just other flavors besides the salt. But it's really, I mean, it, the difference is negligible. They're both really good, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just trying to split hairs here, but honestly, Seasoning for seasoning straight out of the box, um, Trompo is still ahead. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely needs salt. And I put salt on mine, and it still needs salt. But you know what? It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. The lengua's, I hate, I hate to say this, but it's kind of bland. The tenderness is right, though. Tenderness is good, yeah. as lengua should be. Yeah. Slow cooked, as lengua should be. Um, let's talk about the sauces real quick. I, first thing that I looked at, it's a little too watery. I don't, it definitely needs to be a little thicker. The salsa rota has chile guajillo in it. I love chile guajillo, and I don't think a lot of people use it in salsa roja, so I give them some brownie points for that. The verde was okay, but trompo, their salsa was a lot better. They needed just to Agreed. not be so stingy with it. I agree, yeah. Um, Sauces here aren't bad, but they're not great. And that's why they were so uh, generous. I mean, they're watery. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that works? Yeah, they're definitely using more ingredients over there for sure to make it that thick. So I would say, well, let's get the last one going and then I'll, I'll give my thoughts. I don't want to get too premature here. So the barbacoa is noticeably greasier. Yeah. I mean, there's like chunks of fat in here, which is, I guess sometimes normal when it comes to barbacoa. For sure. Um, it's a fatty cut of meat, usually from the cheek. And I just, when you slow cook it, it's amazing. It's incredible. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. I just took a big old bite okay. of just fat. It was just fat, I swear. It like melted. But that's, this is uh, your uh, fave taco here, right? <laughs> I was like, hold on. That's the conversation we were having earlier. Okay, everything I've ever known is wrong. <laughs> I, I really like this place, but I realized I don't really know what's what in the world of tacos like I thought I did. That's fair. I didn't really think I knew. I just thought I knew some pretty good place. Taking nothing away from LCI, they do make a very respectable bomb taco. But I would recommend 
bringing salsa from another place and putting and probably bringing a salt shaker if they don't give you that those little pockets of iodized salt the fact that i am wanting another salsa and i'm wanting more salt in my tacos and the barbacoa tacos which I'm normally a barbacoa taco fan. I love barbacoa in general, but she's right. There's a ton of fat. It's like so much fat. I, I don't even know if I tasted any meat. No. I saw meat. But it melted away. <laughs> but it just like, I mean, and some people were like, The yeah. ratio's off, the ratio's Way off. Way off. Okay. The pastor was great. The bistec was good. Everything else, the lengua, the barbacoa, uh, I would eat it again. I just wouldn't, it wouldn't be my first choice or my second and I wouldn't necessarily start celebrating the idea that I was about to eat it. No offense, great establishment. They're doing a hell of a whole lot for 50 square feet of pop-up building, whatever the hell that is, which is great. No, not hating at all. I just sound like I'm hating so much, but <laughs> but like we just had a better taco at Trompo. We had better tacos at Trompo. Like they were, they were a lot more well-rounded. Next place. Taco City Mas. <laughs> Okay, we're at Taco City Imas, which translates to Taco City and more. <laughs> Today's special, or special de hoy, uh, mango nadas. Thank you, Jesus. First thing that caught my eye, because the menu is like right in front of us as we parked, uh, Taco City fried rice. The Ima Okay, good point. There, That's the Imas, but... I don't know about a taco place that's selling fried rice, right? That's fair. What's el burro loco? L uh, the crazy bull? Donkey. Crazy cow? The crazy donkey. donkey. Otro burro. They do have aguas frescas, which my girl right here been jonesing for them to have aguas frescas at the first two locations, which they did not have. Now we finally have it. But I don't know that I trust this place because they spell limonada with like lemon nada with an e. So we and might yet, might not go for it. <laughs> and yet here we are. Okay, Taco City Mas. We got quesadilla tacos, al pastor tacos, bistec tacos. Obviously tacos, grilled onions, raw onions, a little bit of that creamy sauce. I don't even know what it is, but I'm excited to try it. We got some what seems to be like a I don't know, but it smells like a little bit of ajo. Habanero. Yeah, I'm excited about that one too. So the sauces look better than the previous place and we get a nice big thing of consomme. Looks wonderful. Mm. And mango natas. This is one of my favorite drinks. No alcohol, as Jesus intended. <laughs> a missed opportunity though. <laughs> It's good. It's not like too, too, too sweet, which is beautiful. And the actual mangoes, like pieces that I have, they're like, they're squishy and ripe and wonderful. And I think that's like one a pet peeve of mine whenever I go to fruterias or places that have like fun botanas like this is that their fruit is always a little green, like on the green side. And it makes sense, like they're constantly making a bunch of this, but here it's sweet and I'm excited. I agree. <clears throat> Oh, that's the, uh... Chamoy. No. Tahin? Tahin. <laughs> Went down the wrong pipe. I agree. The mango is nice and sweet. We're gonna try this one first because my hand is on it. So let's go ahead and give, give her a dunkaroo. What do you think? Like, I've made better or whatever. No <laughs> I've made better. Hold on, let me try this sauce real quick. Sorry. That's good. I like that. So, best, do you best recommend sauce so far. Dunk and then dunk? Mm -hmm. dunk. I do. <laughs> I do like that. No, you're good. It's food, bro. Dunk and dunk. Dunk and dunk. Yeah, look at that. See, that's how a bro does it. It's pretty good. I wish there was, no, I actually like the ratio. I like, I, I feel like it needs to be meaty. I think equal parts meat to cheese, depending on how cheesy you like things, but 
I'm a big cheese con connoisseur. Like when I do pizza, I do extra. Oh, 100%. Next up, we got pastor. Let's go ahead and throw a little little grilled onion in there. Let's throw a grilled onion in there. Let's go ahead and hit hit it with a little bit of that, right? A little bit of this, whatever this is, sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. She, hey, what do you, what she's do you, not that big. This needs salt. It this needs a lot salt. of salt. No, if it weren't for the salt. salsa, if it weren't for the sauces that I put on it. Mm -hmm. So they have pineapple in theirs, which is, I don't know that it's common, but it's known like to known be to paired yeah, with pastor. But in the other places that we went, they did not have pineapple. Um, definitely needs salt. Yeah, it needs a lot of salt. The, the, I don't think the, like, I don't think it was marinated that way. Last but not least, at Taco City, Imas, bistec. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. This place isn't it. The first two places, by far better. Trompo, still number one right now. Definitely in the lead. This place is not bad, but the tortillas are not greasy at all. A little too thick for my liking. The meat's just okay. I mean, it's, it's borderline bland. The saving grace here is definitely this green hot sauce. It's awesome. I love it. And the mango nata here is also really good. The bistec was better than the pastor, I'll tell you that. But it, it's all right. Like, it's all right. Definitely from the places that we've been to so far, I would go to Trompo probably, for sure. Yeah, everything else was just okay. I'm mainly excited about this. So, Taco City, and we're here for the Imas part. So far today, this is how we're ranking them. Trompo, number one. Number two, LCI. And number three, this place, Taco City Imas. Do you agree? I agree. And I would say the Campechano of all the tacos is the number one. Maybe even the vegetarian cheese at Trompo. Probably tied for first place. That's my opinion. Like, subscribe, comment below, hit the bell notification to get notified when part two. <laughs> Don't forget to follow Eats by Jen on Instagram. The link is below. And until next time, cheers. <laughs> cheers.